Hi, this is Toby Christensen coming to you from the beautiful paradise island of Kauai, Hawaii. Uh, aloha to you all. One of the things that has been happening as I've been working with people here on the island and of course around the country is they get a drum, as they play and they work getting their five element rhythms down, the sound of their drum begins to change. And so I get call after call after call or at workshop question after question of how do I tighten my drum? Well, tonight we've decided we're going to do a little video to help you with that. And basically, it's a very, very simple process. Everyone, when you get the djembe, you'll notice that there's some extra cord that's usually wrapped around the stem of the djembe. That is for tuning purposes. You have your extra string, your extra rope, and then you have your verticals. And what we're going to do tonight is show you how to do the uh, pull a diamond pattern which is very simply called an under, under, over, under. And basically what it means is you go under two verticals, thus the under, under. And what I find is if you do it up towards the top of the drum where there's some, uh, where there's some room, it's easier to pull through. Okay, now you don't want to leave it up there because it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't uh, tune your drum very well. So then you pull it down, so you have your under, under, now we're going to do the over under. So basically you go over your second vertical and under your first. And basically what that does, again I do it up at the top of the drum where I have room to pull it through. Some people will put a screwdriver or a stick through the, through the rope down here, but I find that it sometimes scratches the, uh, the surface of the drum. And uh, doing it up on top is not a problem when you pull it down. So basically what you end up with is you end up with your rope, your extra rope going under two verticals, over the second one, and back under the first. Under, under, over, under. Then when you pull your rope, I usually just grab it with my feet and pull, you'll notice that it crisscrosses, creating a diamond shape in the verticals, shortening the distance between the bottom ring and the top ring, therefore putting tension on the drum head. There's not a particular number of diamonds that need to be pulled on any particular drum. It's how you like your drum to sound. So on this particular drum, we find that the tone's fairly low, and we'll probably just for uh, demonstration's sake do about three of these so you really get what it looks like. So you'll notice that I've pulled the string through the verticals, under, under, I'm going to pull it down, and you want to keep your diamonds nice and tight because sometimes you need two or three rings as, depending on how much your, your, uh, the goat skin stretches. So you'll see I have the under under. Now I'm going to go over the second vertical and under the first, creating a loop that will then pull that second vertical underneath, crisscrossing it, and creating another diamond. Now, after you do two or three of these, you want to just test your drum out because if you over tighten it, you could uh, blow out a head. And uh, in this case, you'll see that you get some really nice open tone, a nice bass. But the slap tone is not quite as sharp as we might like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull two more diamonds, put a little bit more tension on the head, see if we can improve the sound of this drum. So what we'll do, we put it down. I always like to put the drum on a, either a piece of carpeting or a, a towel, particularly when we're working on a hardwood floor because we don't want to damage the drum or the floor. And this of course is one of the medicine drums that you'll find on uh, HealingDrummer.com. It's set up with the beautiful cowrie shells and crystals, a very powerful uh, healing drum. We're going to do our under under, and you can see that once you do this a few hundred times, it, it becomes very easy and, and second nature. Under, under, pull it down, over, and under, creating our loop, and another diamond. Now let's check the tension and see how the drum sounds. Now we're talking. You'll notice 
notice how just a little bit more tension, just two more diamonds, made all the difference in the world of how the slap tone came out, still maintaining a beautiful deep bass and a nice open tone. Okay, that's your lesson for today. Now, tune up your drums, make